Hi, uh, I'm Clay from Twin Peaks, and you're watching 101.9 Kink Radio in the Skype Live Studio. Hey, how, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Hola. Everybody take out your pens and paper. We're going to start class right now. All right, guys. Third album's out. I'm over here. <laughs> Hi. Hola. Hola. Um, Down in Heaven's out. You guys are playing this weekend, which caged the elephant. Uh, sold out show. That's going to be si. pretty cool. Tonight at Music Millennium, I already mentioned to folks, so they can see you there. I want to ask you about something. You guys have been around for a while, playing for a heck of a long time together. And you started out playing these house shows uh, at, what, 15, 16, 17 years old? That sounds about right. Sounds about right. Um, as an underage musician, is that how you found was your best option to get a break in Chicago? Well, we got something about <laughs> well, as uh, I guess, yeah, as um, underage musicians, uh, it was definitely probably the most, it, w yeah, it was like the only option we had because... Um, you know, most of the most of these shows are 18 and up and 21 and up uh, the, the, for the venues that you want to play. And um, that meant that none of your friends could come. And it was like, you know, it just it it didn't really work out. Um, so that was like that that was what we wanted to do initially is just play these hash shows and stuff like that. Mostly because we wanted, you know, to be able to party and our friends to be able to party and stuff like that. But because also they're just better. Uh, Better environment. Yeah, it's so. a better audience. I feel like then, like, when we would just play, like, get booked at a club when we were 16, it was just, like, only our friends would come. We didn't have any outreach to other people to come to our shows. But playing at, uh, playing at the kind of in the DIY scene, there was already a community of bands and people going to all these shows that we were exposed to. And then everybody's hugging and hanging out, and we're all buds. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. And then, um, <laughs> I don't know how to top that one. Um, you guys have five members now. And I know four, mem four of your members are songwriters. The fifth one, you just joined not too long ago. I, I did, yes. Yeah, do you, about a year and a half ago. Are you also a songwriter? Because a band with five songwriters, you guys seem he's, to be able he's to He's actually one of the four. <laughs> oh. See. You just play drums. <laughs> You're just here to look pretty. That's nice. Doesn't he? Know? <laughs> he is. That's our golden child, right here. So how does that work? I mean, typically a band has one or two songwriters, but you've got four, and it sounds like it's pretty, it's pretty smooth, except for this guy. Well, we have we 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 fight until someone gets knocked out to decide whose song we use. I think that's very diplomatic. Yeah, that's it's, the only it's, way. It's, it's the you only have way. to box it out. And whoever wins gets to use a song. As long as you guys have figured it out, it seems to work for you guys. So there was a, I've been listening to your music a lot the last couple of days, and there was a quote that I saw that cracked me up because um, I used to go out a lot. I'm from Wisconsin, as we talked about Sweet. backstage. And when I was growing up, I was uh, drinking age was 18, so I could go to bars and Lucky. I know it was a sweet life. Uh, and hang out, and that's, I have friends in bands, and that's where I got to see bands. But the quote that I saw was awesome. It says, no band makes you want to be young and stupid again more than Twin Peaks. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and after hearing your music for a while, I thought that's totally it. I want to be young and stupid and hang out with you guys all day. That was, that was the most kind thing they said in that whole article. It was like a, <laughs> actually a scathing article. But that was no, I'm, I'm joking. No, it was it was a good article, but that yeah. was it, that I and I mean that in the nicest way because you guys are fun. You guys know how to rock, you know how to party, and you're a whole lot of fun. Thanks, thank See, you. See, I'm nice. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you're well, yeah, I don't know. We we kind of we we try to carry that uh, with us because we we do have fun. This is a fun thing that we get to do at a young age, um, and we want everyone to have fun with us as we do it. So. We have an excuse to have beer at noon. Yeah. Hey, there's nothing wrong. We're okay. working right now. This is it's a good life. A job. You have to drink on the job. <laughs> it's a good life. You guys also got a nice write-up. Uh, Esquire uh, picked out 20 songs for the summer. <laughs> he is pretty yes. though. 
Um, yeah, Holding Roses was one of the 20 songs you'll be listening to all summer, and that was awesome as well. So, um, you can, you can listen to it in the winter as well. It's nice. You can listen to it in the winter? Okay. We'll keep it into the fall. Yeah, it's not going to, you know, unless it gets destroyed somehow. We won't let it be destroyed. Well, well while you're doing calisthenics, I want to remind folks that you'll be at Music Millennium. Well, kind of stretching. I want to remind folks if you don't have tickets to go see them at uh, Edgefield with Cage the Elephant, you can check them out six o'clock tonight. Music Millennium, my favorite record store. They'll treat you. That's great. They'll <laughs> turn it out. That's Thanks, right. Man. So here we go. Let's go, guys. Thanks so much for coming. Woo -hoo. Yes. <laughs>